Hi there, I'm Helper Wesley, and in this video we'll be talking about camera controls. So we have this project file from the Changing Animations video, and you'll notice that the play space is rather small, and it's off-center. So to fix that, we'll be going into the event sheet, and here we have two camera controls, one to, at the beginning of scene, change the zoom to 5, which is 5 times the default scale of the game. Anything below 1 will zoom out, anything above 1 will zoom in. And then we have an action, without a condition, that centers the camera on the player object. If I open up the zoom action, you'll see that the zoom is 5, but also that the layer is left alone. Because all of the objects are on the base layer, this doesn't need to be touched. And for the camera number, for everything that we're doing in this video, you don't need to worry about it. And now if we preview the game, you'll see that we've zoomed in, and the camera is centered on the player. And this is fine for most games, but sometimes you would rather the camera follow the player rather than snap to them. So to do that, we'll go to the event sheet and delete the camera action and replace it with camera center X position. Change it to set to, and then for a value, type in lerp. Lerp is actually a pretty simple expression, where the first number is the value you currently have, the second number is the value you want to be at, and then the last number is the speed to get there. So in this case, it'll be the camera X position, comma, the player X position, comma, and then 0.05 as the speed. And then we just copy and paste that down, and change all of the X's for Y's, to get the Y axis. And now, the camera kind of follows the player instead of snapping to them. Now let's talk about different layers. So if I want to make these two objects be on the UI layer in front and the background layer behind, I need to open the Layers tab and create two different layers, one being a UI layer and one being a background layer. Making sure that the background layer is below and the UI layer is above so that the background is behind and the UI stuff is in front. And then I open up the Properties panel and make sure to put those on those layers. And now if I were to preview the game, these two things would be where they were originally, within the default window frame, because the camera for those two layers hasn't moved. So the UI is fine, but to center the background layer into the back, we're going to add two actions, both at the beginning of scene. And that's a camera zoom, and center the camera on the background. But take note that we've changed this to the background layer, instead of just the default layer. So in quotation marks, we need to type in the name of that layer. And there we go. And now we can fix the camera within a certain boundary by adding the action Enforce Camera Boundaries. And for this, we can go to the game scene and zoom in and use the mouse to figure out where the end of the game scene is. Down in the bottom left corner, you'll see the X and Y coordinates of where the mouse is. And so we can go back into the event, and we know that the top part of the screen is 0, 0 and the bottom corner of the screen was 486, 124. And now if we preview the game, the camera will follow the character until it gets to that boundary. And this of course works for the other side as well. And if the player jumps off screen, they'll just fall forever, and the camera will stay there. Another useful camera control action is the angle of a camera on a layer. And for this we'll set it to add to on the base layer when the C key is pressed. And so if I preview the game and press C, the base layer will rotate. This won't affect the game in any way, it'll only affect what you see on screen. So you could use this for if you have a scene where the character is climbing up a mountain, or for camera shake. But there's actually a much easier way to do camera shake. If we go back to the game scene, open up the project manager, go down to functions and behaviors, and you'll see that I already have the extension installed, but, if I click Search for New Extensions, and then type in Shake, it'll be right there, and I can just click to install it. Now if I go into the Collision section of my event sheet, for when the character runs into a spike, I can add an action, for Camera Shake, fill in this information, and that's it. When the player runs into a spike, the camera will shake. Editor's note, for Lerp specifically, it's a good idea to times it by time delta. That way, regardless of the frame rate, it'll do the same thing. But this has been a tutorial for camera controls. 
As always, be sure to comment down below and tell us what kind of tutorial you want to see next. I have been Helper Wesley, and I'm glad I could help.